All right. Morning, morning. Oh, this is a better creek. Um, we're just leaving Booberry Hill. Um, boo Baby, what's the... What, the pronunciation of the hill you just said was wrong, baby. Oh, yeah. It's Booberry. Booberry? Well, not a hard B. Uh, a soft B. A soft B, a Booberry. Okay. Booberry Hill. That's um, for my dad, by the way. You can't say the word Blueberry without my dad singing that. What, Blueberry Hill? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Papa hey, dad. There you go, Papa Cheetah. I know you watch these. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. I don't know where to go from here now because I can't make jokes. Good morning, morning, morning. It's September 23rd, and um, it's about 7.38, and we're walking. Um, when we got to camp last night, there was, in fact, other people in camp. What a what a concept. Um, kind of had a feeling, sense, where Blueberry Hill is. You either have to commit to get through the state park if you're going southbound, and if you're going northbound, you have to commit either way, so... It's kind of on its own in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that's where some hikers would group up. Um, but we just kind of tucked ourselves off to the side. They were all sleeping. So, today, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we probably will walk places. Hmm, I don't know. We shall see. I wanted to make more jokes, but Magpie um, dipped me in cold water. Reminded you that my dad watches these? Huh? my dad watches these and so does my mom and my grandma no hi guys no oh takes some fun out of the jokes <laughs> okay we go places all right this is the namesake top of booberry hill but i don't see any booberries these are all blueberry plants right here hmm that was going to be a suggestive pan, but then you pointed out blueberries. No blueberries on Blueberry Hill. No. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I got too much stuff going on. I'm trying to eat while going uphill, which is... Bad choice. Don't do it. Bad choice. And I'm trying to, like, walk places. I'm trying to film things. I'm trying to film things. Ooh, picture yeah. time. All right, so on the back side of Booberry, um, for southbounders on the, not Finger Lakes Trail, on the Superior Hiking Trail, you'll hit it before camp. For northbounders, um, it's after camp. It's after you climb the Booberry's hills. Um, I don't know if it's a spring, but it's really high up. And I don't know what else is higher than us right now, um, besides some people out in California. Um, so I don't foresee this being a creek. It feels springish. Um, and also the water, I wouldn't fill right there. There's a good fill spot down in there. The water comparatively, I don't know if Magpie still has her unfiltered water. No, I got rid of it. Um, but it's clear. Oh, wow. My, even my filtered water is brown. Yeah. Like I drank this stuff unfiltered yesterday. And it wasn't my favorite. It's just tannins, but It's yeah. just tannins, but this stuff is like good, good, clear, baby. Oh, we out here moonshining up in these hills. What's that mean? Making clear moonshine. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. A lot of stuff going on. We're hiking places. Good water. That's what I was trying to point out. There's better water after Booberry Creek. Campsite. Hill. Good stuff. Oh, I missed it. I missed the rave music as Magpie took the puppy off. Upsetting. <laughs> Do it, baby. Go down those stairs. Baby was trying to leave me because I was filming too much, and then she got. So many 
And then she got stopped by a trail log. Ha 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 ha. She's like, no, you're taking too long filming and taking a picture. You're taking too long signing the trail log, baby. Baby, we gotta do many miles today. We gotta go. Yeah. Okay, we pack out the rock. All right, kind of like Gooseberry. There's a lot of split rock campsites. Um, a lot of good stuff. So we're kind of on this like little, if you look at the maps, it's a uh, very tight up and back around the split river. Um, so we kind of run this side for a little bit, cut across and then go do back. Um, yeah, it's a very, very tight, like, kind of pin. So, yeah, really beautiful spot, though. These gorges are gorge. Pretty. Very pretty. All right, so the best campsite we saw was Northeast Slippery Nipple. Whoa. Southeast, babe. That was the Southeast campground. You sure that was not the North? No, no, no. North Southeast was on the other side. Uh, Southwest, I mean. Yeah, no, so. It's called Southeast Slip Rock. That's the one that we just saw. Northeast Slippery Nipple. Guess what, baby? What? Hey there, hold there. You want a donut? What's that for? North Dakota. You know how I was saying Minnesota while we were in, Minna while we were in Wisconsin? Now I'm going to start doing North Dakota things before North Dakota. Can't we just enjoy the view for a second? Hey there, hold there. You want a donut? Let's just enjoy the view. Uh-huh. That's really something. Uh-huh. Hi. Uh-huh. Hi. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a really good view. It is. Baby, can we just enjoy the view? What? Can we just enjoy the view? Just wow. All right, baby, I found my new home. Leave me here. I live here for the rest of the winter. We almost missed the biggest opportunity of the trail. Baby, I can't believe we almost walked by it. So I was gonna walk by this sign and I would have kicked myself for years to come because you know why, baby? Why? Beaver Bay, nickname in high school. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, y'all, I almost walked by that. Couldn't have lived, lived with myself if I did. Yes. Okay.
All right, so I think this is gonna be an ongoing theme for pretty much the rest of the trail with how cold it is getting out at night. Granted, we're also very close to Lake Superior. That gets soaked, our ground sheet gets soaked. Tent, not so much, that just gets soaked from packing it in with the soaked fly. Um, so it's gonna probably be a reoccurring theme for significant more amount of the trail, at least the rest of the Superior hiking trail and then Boundary Waters. Until it gets cold enough at night that it just freezes and gets shaked, shook off. Yeah, maybe once we cut out of the boundary waters and we get past Eli, um, it'll get a little bit better. So, lunchtime, drying out party, about 11 o'clock. Um, 11, quarter after 11. Quarter after 11, so we're moving and grooving. Um, beautiful hiking spot. So, I think I've put this in past videos, but I'm going to put this in this one again. I had to change the point to get an extra day out of it to 30 minute intervals because as you can see it is well you can't see 99% full when I woke up this morning at the interval thing I had set it said only six hours left I know I'm gonna have to clear it eventually but for now I'm trying to get one more day out of it with before clearing it because I still haven't heard back from Garmin and I'm holding out hope that they'll send back an email within that time frame. They might not and I might just have to clear it and it is what it is. I think it just clears the device, but it might clear the map share data on um, the Garmin sure, website. I'm pretty sure it doesn't clear it on the Garmin website because when I was looking into the help section for how to get rid of a map on the Garmin website, it said... The map might still be remaining on the device, in which case you have to clear the device first and then delete the map share. Hmm. So that makes me think that it doesn't, if you delete it on the device, it doesn't automatically delete it on the map share. Yeah, we can hope. So I don't know. Um, but for the tracking, you'll have seen all the points up until this spot, September 23rd. Um, you see all the video footage of it. I don't think it will change anything if it ends up getting off the map share besides our own satisfaction of seeing that full track. So it's what it is. I couldn't figure out another way. Lunch time. Cool spot. Got to jump. Uh oh. Oh, break the knees. Break the knees. Whew. Makes you work for some of these views. Got some bouncy bouncies. been a nice place to camp and do cannonballs in but alas our miles don't link up we shall save the beaver pond cannonballs for another day hopefully pretty oh oh wow It's a mighty fine bench. Yeah. We've just been playing around on rock all day. We rock hopping, baby. So I don't even know if this is called a creek. It's not on my maps. We're close to Fault Line Creek campsite, but this is by far the best source we've hit. Besides that source that I found on top of Booberry Hill, 
at least for creeks wise, this is the best. Like it's not silty. Um, if you want to see what the water looks like, check this out. It is like beautifully purple. Like that's what you look for when you're looking at a water source. You're like, if it ain't purple, I don't want it. So, um, yeah, beautiful water source. Um, it's not actually purple. It's really clear. Really good water is what I'm saying. Um, really nice hiking day. Hot, toasty, exposed rock, but pretty good, especially with the cricks. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. You filtering? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Ooh, baby, I smell that love. It's rough love. I smell your love. That's your love. Mm-hmm. Love bubbles. Thank you. Love bubbles of chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? So still silty. Yeah. If you're going northbound, get the water before Fault Line Creek. It looks uh, pretty gnar. Yeah. Oh, she a chunky trail. She turned into a chunky trail. Bits and bits and bobs and bobs and bits everywhere. Chunky. It was a bunch of birds. Yeah, coming out of a tree. Could try to get you a better view, but I may or may not fall off that cliff. So, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no thank you. Not today, folks, not today. Some of you may have been hoping today but not today. Maybe tomorrow. Not today. Don't get any closer. Cannonballs, baby. I see water down there. Aim for the bushes, baby. Aim for the bushes. You know what the entire day has been about, baby? What? Just getting closer and closer to Beaver Bay. Every time we get closer to Beaver Bay, it does my heart well. Um, I didn't ever know I need a beaver bay in my life, but the more we hike, the more we get closer. I've realized I've been missing something my entire life, baby. A bay full of beavers. Yeah. Oh, I'm just picturing them frolicking in the water with their cute little teeth going chomp, 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 chomp. Their tails just f a fluttering, um, all smiley. And then maybe they might be able to fly. If you believe strong enough and you hope hard enough, Maybe dreams do come true. I mean, they are coming true. Beaver Bay's in two and a half miles. Um, do you have an affection for, like, large rodents as big as dogs? Huh? Do you have an affection for, like, large rodents as big as dogs? Well, yeah, when rodents... Not rodents, but when... Beavers and rodents and so are porcupines. Oh, I would not call a beaver a rodent. Oh! And breaking news. Beaver hater now calls them rodents. Oh no! And a porcupine is not a rodent either. They both have a big dog, though, and you love them both. They both do got a booty. They both do got that B double O T Y booty. You just love a badonk -a mammal. I do love a badonk -a donk mammal. <laughs> We don't know that. <laughs> How'd you know? I heard you laugh to yourself. Uh-huh. With that little laugh, that means that you're doing something mischievous. Uh-huh. Yep. How do you know all my uh, tricks now? I've, even, I've had no one to talk to except you for six months. A privilege, baby, a privilege. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I know you pretty well at this point. Uh-huh. But you even knew what I was doing with the camera. Because I heard you giggling. 
Uh huh. I could have just been picturing a, a beaver's badonk donk donk donk. It was not that giggle. No? It was the, ooh, the camera glitch giggle. <laughs> I could have just been picturing a porcupine's donk. Nope. Just a nestle into the donk and just a hug. Uh huh. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, uh huh. Just oh. What's that phrase? It's not the hero that Gotham deserved. It's not the hero that Gotham wanted, it's the hero Gotham deserved. So, um, it's not the beaver that, well, we want all beavers. It may not be the exact beaver we wanted, but it's the beaver pond. We just, mm, not, still not a good saying. No. I think the better saying would be, um, no, that's also a good saying. I think the better saying would be, we all deserve a beaver in our life from time to time, and we don't deserve them. That's the truth. We don't deserve them. They're just pure goodness and joy and... Destroy the trail. Huh? Destroy the trail. Well, they're just the epitome and the embodiment of a pure, of a pure happiness, this a beaver. We do not deserve the beaver. And we do definitely do not deserve the beaver pond? What's it called? Bay. Be we definitely don't deserve the beaver bay. Are you going to keep filming for two and a half miles? Well, they all frolic. I wish I could, baby. I wish I could. Beaver Bay, here we come. Wow, that that, that led off on a tangent. Oh, 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 oh. Watch where you step, Constantine. I'm just too excited about Beaver River. Beaver River. Pretty. Baby, it's a Beaver River. Yas. Baby, there's so many beavers that there's a West Beaver. Am I a West Beaver? We live out west, so can I be a west beaver? I used to be an east beaver. Now I'm a west beaver. That is a nice campsite. Uh, uh oh. Big boulders. Oh. Right on the knees. Alright, so we just passed another beaver campsite. There were people camping there, so didn't film, but um, another good campsite right along the riverbed. Really pretty river. All right, now that we're in an echo chamber, baby, can I marinate you with some song? Marinate me? Marinate you with some song? I would prefer if you didn't marinate me. I think marinade's the correct word. I think you mean serenade. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, baby? Did that marinate you? And marinated. I feel well seasoned. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice.
All right, so you might be confused at that piece of footage within the hiking day today. It's like 3.40, um, we still got some miles to go to camp, like 12 miles, but it looks like we start getting into like some pretty hardcore like valleys and gorges. So I didn't know if I would have service in camp tonight. Um, so what that clip was, is it was a video record of our Garmin track since the beginning when we started on May 1st all the way to today, which is September 23rd. Um, it shows you the pings all across. It shows you the route um, that we stayed th on the entire NCT, um, every single footstep, all walking. So, again, I don't perceive that when I clear this device, it will clear the map share. I'm just trying to catch every contingency in case it does. Um, I haven't heard back from Garmin, so I don't know what else to do um, because <sighs> tomorrow... It's going to be at 100%, so tonight I actually need to clear it. Um, I'll get a footage of the last clip I do every day of the Garmin, um, the amount of pings it set off. But I just wanted to get that because I don't know if I'll have service in camp and trying to cover every contingency basis as possible. If you watch the videos, you know we walk the trail, but with how much the quote-unquote outdoors industry is becoming nowadays and like, how there's been a lot of falsehoods and different FKTs and different trails. Um, it's pretty rigid to keep their standards. So wanted to do that to make sure we're checking every box possible. So cool, cool. I got it. Hey, baby. Hey. I'm tired. I know. We got got to go places. I know. Hike places. Yep. So I think we're getting our first view of Silver Bay. Um, right down in there, trail kind of wraps around it, which is pretty cool. But we stay in the hills. We're in the trees, man, in the trees. They was keep their elves coming out of the trees, man. Okay, I still have some weirdness left in me. It's work. It's working its way out, though. It's working its way out. Plaplam. Wow. Oh baby, non-stop viewage. The saddest thing in the world is when you walk away from Beaver Bay. Uh, I didn't even really get to love it as much as it deserved the love. We would never be able to love it as much as it deserves the love. It deserves so much. We got 10 miles to go. So sad. Becoming so saturated with the views from today that this clip is almost just as interesting to me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been nonstop. All we're doing is like bouncing around these rock faces that we go up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill. And um, every time you get to the top or climbing to the top, you get these epic views. Terrain's been chunky today. Um, she's been hefty. You're gonna have to eat up some miles um, through some chunky, chunky terrain. Um, and when I say chunky, it's like very rocky, very rooty. I tried to film a lot of it but a lot of the stuff that you need, all, all limbs on deck without face planning, I don't know if I've been able to get, but I'm trying to do it justice. There's been some chunk-tastic, view-tastic trail today. It's been pretty sweet.
Those are our bumpies of the past. Yep. The bumpies of the past. Bumpies of the future, yonder. Oh, the bumpies. So much fall colors. Pretty. Oh, stop looking up, Constantine, and watch your feet. All right, if you're camping at Bear Lake, um, uh, one height camping. Yeah, Bear Lake. Um, you're gonna have to go downhill a little bit. It's off of the main trail. Um, but if you're not, you can keep just cruising. I like how they do it on these maps. Um, I don't know if that's just a Minnesota State Park thing or what, but they do the you are here where the screw placement is. So like wherever they screw in the signpost, that's like the you are here dot. I like that. Yep. I love these signs. Very sweet. Huh. I don't know why the camera never does justice to these reds. These red colors be popping. And these knees also be popping with this downhill. Ooh, watch where you're going. That's some colors in the valley. That's nice. Um, there was better water before Bear. Um, this isn't bad, but Bear, it's not great. Yeah, Bear Lake. A lot of the water's been silty lately. I think it's because of the rain. But um, there was good water, like, before one of the climbs on Bear Lake. So, depends where you wanna get it, you can go get it. Wow, that was a loud one. I don't think they heard. Oh, baby, it's so bad over here. Just gonna leave me? Yep. Oh. Think of your own oh. Oh, so bad. Oh. Mm. This is how you do breath work on the trail. To get the lungs used to the ups and downs, you got to sit in your own bubble of love and do breath work. That's how you get stronger lungs. 
hiker hack. Hmm. Oh yeah, Mount Trudy. Give us those views, baby. Beautiful. Oh, I love hiking to this time. Only took about four or five months of pushing to get to this point um, of hiking to this time. But I think it's every trail is a special beast. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Ain't nobody scared of a Mount Trudy. That's just the friendly neighborhood person down the street. No, pretty smooth climb. Yeah. Talk to me, Mount Trudy. Talk to me. That's pretty. Wow. Y'all ready for this pan? Watch this. Blah, 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 blam. Wow. Talk about viewage. If I zoom out. I guess I can still get a little bit of the viewage in there. But wow, oh wow. This is like our Arizona camp spot right before um, Saguaro National Park. Just so beautiful. So we are having a short day, but I don't even care. Yeah, this is really pretty. Plan. I wish I could light this up more. That's like, well, it is what it is. That's, I, I can't do it justice. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the view and stop filming. Wow. All right, so I think we did actually a 26 and a half if we check Gaia, not Gaia, um, Avenza. But the reason the tracker didn't do a good job as usual is because of this. I set the send interval to 30 minutes and the log for 10 minutes because as you see, we're at 99% full and I wanted to try to pull some little bit of longer to give Garmin a little bit longer to email me in case they did today. So that's why it didn't do as good, but we got a 26 and a half for in today, which is pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> 